so it ends. This once mighty tyrant is now no more than dust. Come, friends, let us be The world is better. It is my duty to inform you that you are now the founder of the next destiny. Well, I must say I'm awful glad to be here. A new dawn in destiny. Mm -hmm. I say we started off with sweet music. I got just the song in mind. So the circle closes and a new destiny dawns. Yet my heart is torn. Torn between hope for our new beginning and sorrow for the world we have lost. Well done, my friends. I know the universe is in good hands now. A new universe, huh? Let me have a crack at it. Now we'll start like the last time with a big, big explosion. By the gods. One moment. We're the gods now. Well, well, well. Where's that pen? We must use our new power wisely. For it is said, if all your wishes are answered, many of your dreams may be destroyed. Oh, good! If we are going to make a new world, it should not be like this horrible place. It should be a little <laughs> place, like my farm back home. Only a little less smelly. Well done! <laughs> You are at long last alone in the cosmic circle. At first, you aren't certain what to do. But then you remember the forge and the book. You pick them up and begin to write. You think of the Higardi on Dominus below and write the Savant's hideous tower out of existence. You think of the Trini and write them back to flourishing life without eternal fear of Rapax invasion. For the Rapax, you find kindness and empathy where none existed before. And as for the Trang and Umpani, they decided their own fate. But you are not yet done. There are still so many loose ends you need to tie up, so many tasks for new cosmic lords. And so, without clear thought or intention, you begin to write. It is difficult at first, but soon it comes easier. You write of your home, your world, of good things, its beauty and frailty too. You write of adventures you have had and of those yet to come. You write of your fears and you write of your dreams. Soon, whole new galaxies and stars open up before you. Upon your planets, you write in people, all kinds of people, races of every color, shape, and size. A million years of evolution pass in minutes for you. Cities rise, and entire civilizations take shape. You look down on all you have created. I can't help but feeling that Foom Zhang, were he still alive, would be greatly pleased. 